children in this video we will learn to estimate the area of objects there is a lot of chaos in champapur today this morning a door has been found in the cave but this door can only be opened by the hand of one of the villagers the king of champapur has entrusted barbole uncle with the responsibility of finding the villager whose hand impression matches the hand impression on the door uncle immediately traced the hand impression on the door onto a paper in this way this paper has similar squares of 1 square centimeter each uncle then counted the number of squares covered by the hand impression to find the area of the hand impression it took a long time for uncle to do this process and finally he came to know that the hand impression is covering 130 squares the side of each square is 1 cm long therefore the area of this hand impression is 130 square centimeters now uncle made grid papers using some other papers too by making equal squares of 1 cm long edges uncle first took the impression of bunny's hand on a grid paper like this i will need to find an easier process to find its area thought uncle let me first draw as many rectangles and squares as i can in this shape saying this uncle made three rectangles in this way in bunny's hand impression now i will first find the area of this rectangle this rectangle has seven horizontal lines and each line has five squares in it this means there are 7 times 5 or 35 squares in this rectangle this rectangle has two horizontal lines and each of the lines has three squares that means this rectangle has 2 times 3 or 6 squares and this third rectangle has four horizontal lines and every line has two squares it means there are 4 times 2 or 8 squares in this rectangle now in the end i will count the number of remaining full half and more than half squares thought uncle uncle also found these numbers in this way now uncle added all these numbers to find the total number of squares in this way there are a total of 63 squares in the bunny's hand impression in other words the area of bunny's hand impression is 63 square centimeters but this is not the same as the hand impression on the door so uncle continued his search and now traced appu's hand children the impression of appu's hand is shown here can you find the area of appu's hand by the process used by uncle if you wish to you may find it by stopping the video you can also find the area of appu's hand impression by making rectangles in this way the area of appu's hand impression is 130 square centimeters appu's hand impression matched the impression on the cave door 
The king opened the door with Appu's help and gave him half of the treasure in return. Children, in this video, we learned to estimate the area of objects. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned to estimate the area of objects. In this video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Champapur has received bright sunlight after the rainy season. Let me make poppers, thought Chanda. Thinking this, Chanda made various kinds of poppers. I have poppers of these three shapes. I have to charge the highest price for the biggest popper and the lowest price for the smallest popper. But all three are of different shapes. Then how do I find out which shape poppers are the biggest? Chanda got absorbed in thinking. Just then, Appu came to her house. Chanda asked this question to Appu. That's it. It's very easy. Appu told Chanda and quickly drew equal squares of one centimeter edges on a paper. To find the answer to your question, all we need to do is to find the area of the poppers of these three shapes. The shape of the popper which has the largest area is the largest. Appu told Chanda. Appu then made outlines of poppers of all three shapes on the paper with the help of a pencil. Let's first find the area of this shaped popper. Let me first draw this rectangle in this shape here so that I can find it easy to find the area. Appu made a rectangle like this in the shape of the first popper. Now I will write down the number of squares that fall into these rectangles. Now I will write the number of full squares left, 16. And finally the number of the remaining half squares, 20, which is equal to 10 full squares. Now, this is very easy to find the area of this popper. We just have to add the numbers of all these squares. Look, Chanda, there are 175 squares in total in the area of this popper. In other words, the area of this popper is 175 square centimeters. Appu explained to Chanda. Oh wow Appu, this is very easy and fun too. Let me find the area of this popper now. Chanda told Appu. Then Chanda made such rectangles in the area enclosed by the outline of the second popper. She then wrote down the number of squares falling in those rectangles in this way. Now, Chanda wrote the number of the remaining full squares, 20. And then, she wrote the number of the remaining half squares, 28 or 14 full squares. In the end, Chanda used addition in this way and wrote down the total number of squares covered by this popper. 98. Appu, 
The area of this paper is 98 square centimeters. Chanda said excitedly. Now all we have to do is to find out the area of this last paper and then we will know which of these papers is the largest. Chanda told Appu. Children, can you help Appu and Chanda by finding the area of this paper? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. We can find the area of this paper by making rectangles and squares in this way. The area of this paper is 125 square centimeters. Chanda and Appu also found the area of the third paper. Look Appu, first paper has the largest area. It means this paper is the largest and second paper has the smallest area. It means this paper is the smallest. Chanda excitedly told Appu. Chanda thanked Appu for teaching her about area and then with his help packed all her papers. Children, in this video we learned more about estimating the area of objects through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned more about estimating the area of objects through some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some of the misconceptions related to this. Raju and Bablu are out on a walk again today wearing their unique glasses. While wandering, they reached uncle's table shop. Uncle's shop has a square shaped table and a rectangle shaped table. Raju first looked at the top surfaces of both tables with his glasses and he could see the measure of the sides of both the tables like this. Raju excitedly told Bablu, Bablu, I can see the measure of the sides of both the tables through my glasses. The length of the longest side of the rectangular table, 30 cm, is much more than the length of the square shaped table's edge, 15 cm. That means the rectangle shaped table is much larger than the square shaped table. Bablu laughed and said, <laughs> Raju, it is not necessary that because the measure of the rectangle shaped table's edge is more than the square shaped table's edge, the rectangle shaped table is larger than the square shaped table. Raju did not think what Bablu said was true and both started quarreling. Seeing both of them quarreling, Uncle asked the reason for their quarrel. Look kids, if you want to find out which table is bigger, all you have to do is find the area of the two tables. The table that has more area is the bigger table. Uncle explained to the two children. Then Bablu saw the surfaces of those tables with his glasses. Raju! On looking through my glasses, I am able to see a grid paper being formed on the surfaces of these tables. We can find the area of the surfaces of these tables with the help of these. Bablu said excitedly. Children, if the surfaces of the tables are seen in this way through Bablu's glasses, can you find the area of the surfaces of these tables? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. 
there are 150 squares in the surface of the rectangle shaped table or the area of the rectangular table surface is 150 square centimeters and there are 225 squares in the square shaped table surface or the area of the square shaped table's surface is 225 square centimeters. Raju and Bablu also found the area of the surfaces of both tables just like you. Look Raju, the area of the rectangular table is 150 square centimeters and the area of the square shaped table is 225 square centimeters. So even though the measurement of the longest edge of the rectangular table is bigger than the edge of the square shaped table, the square shaped table is bigger than the rectangle shaped table. Bablu told Raju. Raju understood his mistake and both friends put on their glasses and started walking once again. Children, in this video we learned about some misconceptions related to estimating the area of objects.